Hi, I'm Peter Kalmstrom of Kalmstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to install SharePoint Designer 2010. It's not part of Office 365, as opposed to the SharePoint Designer 2013, which is, of course, I'll go into Office 365 settings here, and under Software, you will find the SharePoint Designer 2013 under Tools and Add-ins here, SharePoint Designer 2013. In some cases, you might want to use SharePoint Designer 2010 also. So I'm just going to go ahead and search for it, open a new tab, SharePoint Designer 2010. And there you just download the 32-bit designer and download that. Notice that the SharePoint Designer 2010 is not a click to run like the other Office 365 apps. So it is actually a rather big download. It'll take a couple of minutes to download here. Once that's downloaded, then you will be able to open SharePoint 2013 sites within SharePoint Designer 2010. However, that's only possible if you don't install the updates to SharePoint Designer, because for some reason, Microsoft has deemed it necessary to disable SharePoint Designer on 2013. So if you have the updates, you won't be able to open SharePoint 2013 sites. But if you have the original RTM version, which is the one I'm downloading here, then you can do these somewhat hacks that I'll show you with SharePoint Designer 2010. So that's something to keep in mind, install, from Download Center, but don't install the updates because then you'll lose the ability to open SharePoint 2013 sites in SharePoint Designer 2010, which can be useful. Now the download is finally finished and I'll get this installer, regular MSI based installer. So nothing strange there, you just go through the wizard and you'll recognize this, accept terms, install now. Actually, uh, one of the things that you get here is the picture manager also, which is part of SharePoint Designer 2010, which is not part of Office 2013, and um, neither is it part of the Office uh, 365 Pro Plus. So if you want to have an application that can change the size of multiple images at the same time, then you want to, to include that in the SharePoint Designer install, which I just did. It's a default install. Here we go. Now the installation is completed. Um, let's see now. I'll start SharePoint Designer 2010. Just search for 2010 to find it. And uh, yes, it doesn't require the .NET framework, so I need to add that to I'm running Windows 10 here, so that's not included there. So to do that, I will run the start, of course, and type features here, programs and features. And turn Windows features on and off. And there's the .NET Framework 3.5. I'm going to install that. Download from Windows Update sounds good. So I'm going to close down the SharePoint Designer for now. Now it's downloading the 3.5 .NET Framework. So waiting for that. There we go. Now the completed changes are there. Excellent. So now I can start SharePoint Designer 2010. This is important. I don't want to install updates. Don't make changes. This is an important choice when you're installing SharePoint Designer 2010. You don't want to make any changes. Here I'm in SharePoint Designer 2010. Now I'm going to open the 2013 sites. And now it's communicating with the web service, opening my SharePoint 2013 sites on Office 365 without any problems. And there are some things that you can do with this, which I'll go through in other demos. But that, this concludes on my demo on how to install SharePoint Designer 2010 so that it connects to your Office 365 and your SharePoint 2013. Keep away from the updates. Thank you for watching this demo.